Hello everyone, take a look at what I've got for you today. This is the Buck North Shore. This is the model, I think, 173. And this actually recently came to me from Blade HQ. And now this knife itself has been discontinued for quite some time. Um, this is meant to be kind of the light version of the Mayo TNT knife from Buck, which if you find them today for sale on the secondhand market, you're going to be paying a, a big price tag for those because those ones are the um, higher end version of this knife, which means they have the S30V steel, uh, titanium frame lock, whereas this version here is a lower cost uh, version of that knife, I guess you could say, um, it is made in Taiwan, so it's a little bit lower cost there, and the steel on this knife is a 420 HC. And so other than that though, the dimensions, the physical dimensions of the knives are fairly similar in about a three inch blade. Um, fairly lightweight this one is as well. This one weighs about 2.56 ounces. So nice lightweight liner lock knife. Um, it also has the tip down carry. And this one's been discontinued for quite a while. So let this be a lesson, you know, from time to time, you might want to check out the new arrivals page. Um, on Blade HQ, on Knife Center, on GP Knives, on all those sites essentially because sometimes um, older knives do come in. And now I was hoping to order this one and get it in time so that you guys could still have a chance to purchase one because they did have more than one in stock it seemed because I ordered this one and then I kept checking back on the page and they didn't mark it out of stock um, until about a day or so later. And so that means they had to have had at least one, more than one of these things in stock in order to keep it up that long, because usually as soon as they go out of stock, they disappear from their new arrivals page. And so this one did sell out, so I'm not sure if they just found new old stock. I do know Blade HQ does have a tendency, sometimes they'll get collections in and they'll clearance them out on the website. Um, and so even on the web page for these, uh, they listed it with a bunch of CRKT knives that are also discontinued and they even made a small typo when they added this, this to the site there at the bottom of the page saying that this was a discontinued CRKT knife which means that they were just adding this one here as they added those knives to the website as well so it's kind of interesting but I'm glad I got it when I did I do like the design I mean it's just so simple and plain but it's just the lines on it look really nice um, Love the, the, the clip point style blade, or I guess drop point you can say too. It is a liner lock, and really the only downside I have to say about this knife is that the lockup on this particular one is um, 100%, so it is all the way over there across the, across the blade, so you can see that. Um, the knife does open smoothly. You know, it's a steel liner lock, aluminum handles, so that gorgeous aluminum, you know, it's brushed aluminum, kind of a gunmetal color. Looks really nice. Pocket clip is also this uh, gray color, and it is stainless steel as well, so there's no titanium on this knife. And I don't know when exactly these things were discontinued, so if you guys are aware, let me know. I do see on the box, though, there is a date on the bottom, so February 1st, 2004. Um, so that that's older than I thought, so I don't know if that is a date there or if that's just some other number code they use on their boxes. Um, but when I did buy this, I knew they were discontinued. I knew it was a semi-rare knife, which of course is one of the reasons why I purchased it. Um, I'm probably not going to use it too much. This is more for the collection. Um, if anything, just because of the late lockup, I don't want that to develop into play. Um, just because I get really anal about things like that, so I'd rather just keep it in pristine condition like it came. If I was smarter, I would have bought two of them and had one to use and one to display. But again, dimensionally, one of the only differences between this one here and the higher end S30V US made version, other than being a liner lock instead of a frame lock, is that the holes, the pattern here on the handle is a bit different. Um, so that's one way at a glance to tell them apart. But even just glancing through the Blade HQ webpage, I mean, once you see this profile, you immediately know what kind of knife it is. And so these buck knives are very rare, hard to get a hold of. So anytime you see them come for sale, it's worth checking out. And so this particular one right here, um, I'm kind of curious how many they got in stock or where they came from. 
Uh, but that being said, let it be a lesson. It is worth your time to go check out their new arrivals page at all of the online knife vendors from time to time because you never know what's going to go pop up. And even if you check it right now on the new arrivals section, about five or six pages deep, you're going to see some of those discontinued CRKTs that were posted along with this one. Some of them look pretty cool too. But this is kind of just a gem to find really just lucky searching on their website. So pretty cool find. Glad I got it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. If you have any information on this knife, let me know as well. I mean, besides being 420HC, Taiwanese made, um, we know it's discontinued, and that's about all the information I could find on it. So pretty cool find. Glad to share it with you guys. If you have any questions, please do ask. Let me know. Maybe I can help answer things too. Uh, but thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye.